Hey guys, this is Jacob. In this video I'd like to show you builds that I've prepared for leveling from level 99 to 100. It is really tanky. I will show it to you right here. So this is me not pressing any buttons. This is how tanky the build is. Like It can take a lot. And since I'm using it is not immortal and why you want it why I want a tanky build for leveling from 99 to 100 is because you cannot use these revival tokens anymore on level 99 as you can see right here the current character is over level 99 so you're unable to revive with the tokens so every death costs you 10% HP, which is around 30 to 40 maps on this level. So that's a lot of time that you lose with, ev with every death if you lose the 10%. So I personally want tankier character. I trade of damage for that, so I have lower damage for the tankiness. Um, yeah, so this character is able to clear 8.3 maps, but for leveling I'm doing 8.1s because they're simply faster. The damage looks like this. Playcell is the same as the damage that uh, as the damage base or the da damage. Uh, how to say it? as the damage variant you've seen in the previous videos so with the da damage pets the damage goes to around 130 billion and for the tankiness you've seen it so if you want to level up safely from 99 to 100 8.0 maps 8 and 8.1 maps with this setup easily don't get dis discouraged by the gear, like you can farm for it over time. The bow gives you a lot of damage, the armor gives you a lot of damage and a huge amount of survivability. Price of the armor is high, I've bought mine for around 5.8k, but you can get base versions for cheaper as you can see. Uh, so yeah, these are the two core pieces. I'm sacrificing a bit more damage by taking a light hunter belt, corrupted one with this mod, which when you get lower ES, you just press your uh, force start or it starts automatically every, every 6 seconds. And when you have low ES, the ES region does not stop until it is fully charged. That's what the light hunter belt does. Uh, that's this mod energy shield charge cannot be interrupted so once your energy shield starts it is not interrupted until your energy shield starts regenerates to full so that's why I'm using this belt if I would go for a little bit more damage I would use my regular belt uh, yeah so this is the safest I can go uh, with passives I'm Rockin Ranger. If you would like to go even tankier, you can <coughs> instead of Ranger, you can go Steel Vanguard. That build that build would have around 60% of the damage that I do, so it would it would still be able to clear 8.0 maps. And it would be a lot tankier because you will take resistance here for 3% max elemental resistance. And you would take poison immunity here, which would convert physical damage taken, physical and elemental damage taken into erosion damage. And you would have 80% maximum el uh, erosion resistance. So this combo makes the build a lot tankier. But the build is already tanky enough, at least in my opinion, so I don't find this necessary. But if you, want, if you would want to be 
even safer or you are playing hardcore you definitely can go steal vanguard i will put the tree for this in the description of the video so you can take it from there um so the setup is <coughs> like <coughs> you want support skill sealed mana and armor and armor base on your helmet to get um, base armor so the imperial might can scale it uh, the defensives then look like this i have 30 almost 35k armor that's just from the helmet i don't have armor on, on any other piece so just the helmet armor base with armor roll gives me 35k armor which is almost 60 percent physical damage reduction and almost 35 percent non-physical damage reduction this paired with uh, frost shield is capping at the 80 percent basically so yeah uh, evasion wise if you would like uh, sacrifice a bit of energy shield for evasion gloves or evasion boots you could even scale evasion just for one piece of gear haven't tried it but yeah that would work as well uh, the armor gives you uh, emperor's wrath which provides you with spell uh, with attack and spell block so at base you have 30 percent attack and spell block and I'm pairing with uh, pairing this with uh, Ages of Fire, which gives me another 32.5%. And this is up all the time, so I have 62.5% attack and spell block. <coughs> so that's another defensive layer. And I have 14.8k energy shield and pretty much infinite energy shield region um, let's go through the passive tree just quickly i will put it in the description so sentry uh, sentries pick energy shield everywhere you can uh, sentry and overly modified the second one would be machinist uh, again lower part of the tree for sentries picking up energy shield <coughs> and picking up barrier here generate the uh, barrier generation here um, heat up for sentry damage and core resonance for more sentry attack speed and the third one would be ranger where i'm going for energy shield for crit damage if you struggle with crit you can pick uh, with crit chance you can pick crit chance here or uh, here yeah so those are the two options crit chance here or crit chance here then there is a little bit of elemental resistance but a lot of defense so these six points give you a lot of additional like uh, armor and energy shield basically because defense scales everything and then i'm picking up fervor here fervor effect here because i need a little bit more crit but i don't need as much crit as these notes would provide me so i'm picking up the fervor effect which gives me critical strike rating but the one point here gives me basically 40 percent critical strike damage as well so that's why, th why I'm picking these five no nodes instead of like these three two here. So I'm picking this for even more damage. And these five points or six points here, this is pretty much 6% in uh, additional damage because you kill enemies that are under 6% under life. So yeah, that's it for the statue of the god. This is Peaceful Realm setup. So you want to get Peaceful Realm, which lets you regenerate order. You get one order every three seconds. And you pair that with Last, last God Steers that provide you with additional sentry damage or additional attack damage. You get four of those, like this. 
Then you pair these four with spark, sparks of moth fire, which copies one of them. Doesn't matter which one, because all four of them are the same. So you get sparks of moth, moth which takes a moth from the other slates and puts it on itself, and all the other slates basically scale to one slate. If you get the money for it, you can you can change the spark of moth of fire for when spark sets prairie the blaze is this one i'm saving up for that i have 17 cards so this would copy the mod from all four of the adjacent slates so instead of just one you would get all four that would that's my next upgrade basically and so that's the damage and you pair that you pair the peaceful realm with one god's footstep with additional order decrease speed minus 18 percent and since you have one off like row and column you pick one with this plus 35 percent effect and you pick two of plus 15 percent effect when there uh, there are multi multiple of them in one row or column and those are these two so those two are the same and this provides you with like order decrease speed which lets you keep your order for longer basically uh, and the last two things here on fallen star fallen starlight the bro on fallen starlight on the last map you want on the fallen starlight you want additional sentry skill cast speed or additional attack speed and on the corner of divinity you with you want plus one all skills which scales all your auras, your attack skills, your defensive skills. So yeah, you you definitely want a corner with plus one all skills. Uh, the other setup would be you you could go for one more fallen starlight, and you could pair it with one more sparks of mod fire, or one more god's footsteps to keep your. <coughs> orders for longer i don't find it necessary because i clear the maps fast enough so yeah so that's the talents for skills around and arrow and area with the bow uh, you basically scale physical damage but you add 200 percent of physical damage into elemental damage and the mod on gloves lets me convert physical damage to fire damage Better mod would be to convert the damage to lightning damage because of aura choices, but yeah, this is what I got. And that basically lets you deal almost 100% elemental damage. And with the scales, you scale, you get physical damage, which then scales your elemental damage later on. And you pick elemental impact because it gives you a lot of elemental resistance penetration. The setup is like this. And then on your candles, you could put the main skill support and critical damage support, or ma main skill support and multifaceted guard and full put critical strike damage here. Yeah, but the main skill, main skill would be the best one here. And you would like to pair it with plus one physical skill levels. Or plus two physical skill levels, whatever you can get. Uh, for the movement skill in the defensive setup, you definitely want to use Speed Phantom because it is the only empower skill that you can get in the setup. So yeah, it also provides you with a source of like vacuuming monsters together. And since uh, Arrow and ARR is an huge AOE skill basically so clumping monsters together makes it clear even faster especially in maps when monsters have shields 
Oh, yeah, Speed Phantom, Magic Dash, that's another charge, double cooldown reduction, and I'm pairing with it with Overclock, that provides you with additional damage. Um, for defensive skills, as I've shown you, Ages of Fire, pair with Rhythm. Ages of Fire lasts for 6 seconds, you pair it with Rhythm, that has 6 seconds cooldown, so that defensive layer is always up. Second one would be Frost Shield with Rhythm, the same, that provides you with physical and fire damage reduction. Um, the last one would be Force Start. That is ba this is basically your heal because you are 100% energy shield, so this is your on-demand heal, or it starts every 6 seconds by rhythm. But in this case, you pair that with cooldown reduction to make the cooldown around 4 seconds or 4.5 4 seconds, so you can even use that manually from time to time when, when it is up. So as you can see here, it has 4 seconds cooldown and I can press it manually to start it. Like this. So yeah, that's basically for more uptime. And the last defensive layer would be Precise Auto Defense with Reform and you pair that with defensive layers. Uh, what this does, this recharges your barrier every time it gets cast, this is barrier, and when reform gets cast the barrier gets reset, so reform basically keeps your barrier up, always up, and you are pairing it with defense layers, because defense layers provide you with 2 seconds un uninterruptible energy shield recharge, so what you basically want to do, uh, it has 6 seconds cooldown, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah 6 seconds cooldown, so auto defense casts it every 6 seconds, so what you want to do at the start of the map is you want to cast your uh, force start manually, like this, to put it off cooldown to the auto defense, so they don't get cast simultaneously. And that provides you with, when you get low energy shield and force start gets gets triggered, you regenerate all your energy shield. When, when it is on cooldown and your, <coughs> your reform gets cast, then this sticks in and you regenerate your energy shield for 2 seconds, no matter, why, no, no matter what. So this provides you with even more sustain, basically. <coughs> for the offensive auras, uh, or, or yeah, offensive auras, precise weapon amp, physical damage, ash attack and attack speed, even paralysis, so that's additional 10% damage when you get it precise. Precise, precise projectiles, um, that's, yeah, additional projectile damage and projectile speed. Projectile speed does not matter much in my setup, but there are different setups where it could matter actually, with specific unique choices for your helmet, or you could use uh, different talent tree instead of ranger, you could use marksman, and you could use gale here to scale projectile speed into projectile damage. So, yeah. Um, next aura, precise elemental amp. Obviously, we are re we are dealing almost 100% elemental damage, so this gives you additional elemental damage and elemental pen. And the last one here, because of my <coughs> reservation, is summon thunder spirit. If I had more reservation or more sealed mana mods, I would put. Uh, Precise energy fortress here instead of thunder insta instead of thunder spirit, and I'm par pairing that off, pa pairing that all with stand as one, which increases the effect of all the auras by 7.3%. Only the auras, not the spirit. 
That's why I would like. That's why I would like to get a little bit more sealed mods, so I could swap that with energy shield and get more energy shield that way. Yeah, the second passive setup is precise curse on hit with elemental destruction. Obviously, like minus elemental resistance gives you elemental penetration basically. Well, with seal conversion, so all this is co is sealed on mana. And then precise energy shield fortress, more energy shield. And the last one here is precise electric conversion, which takes 5% of your physical damage and gives it to you as additional lightning damage and then gives you additional lightning damage and lightning penetration. And this aura is the reason why you would like to get physical damage to lightning damage here instead of fire on the gloves. I've tested um, I've tested uh, precise charged flames, works as well, it's pretty much the same damage, or almost the same damage, so you could use this as well, try both, they're both cheap, try both, use the one with which you have more damage with, yeah. And the last offensive setup here is precise acuteness imbue. Pair with Mark. So Acuteness Imbue gives you additional physical damage. And a little bit of trauma damage which you don't care about. But additional physical damage. And Mark provides you with marking monsters through the Acuteness Imbue. And marked enemies take 30% critical strike damage. Plus 30% critical strike damage. So this setup basically provides you with 21% additional physical damage and 40% critical strike damage. For the candles, for now I'm using the mm, soul eating candles, but I will be swapping them later on in the next update video uh, for uh, different ones. So yeah, these are the skills. Um, for the gear, I've showed you the helmet plus free support skills. Uh, sealed mana and armor, those are the core mods there. Aura effect, you have how many auras? Um, three, five, you have five auras, so aura effect wherever you can take it, take it, it scales five of your buffs. <laughs> so yeah, aura effect, crit damage, some, some resistance just to get you capped basically for amulet plus two fist skills or plus two active skills physical skills is a little bit better because because it scales your <coughs> it scales your additional physical damage i believe yeah seems like that it scales your physical damage support it scales your Acuteness imbue as well. So yeah, definitely plus two physical damage on the amulet. Paired with sealed mana, if you can get plus active skills, great. Then resistances or crit damage, crit chance would be that. <coughs> on the gloves, you want to get the conversion. You you want to get physical damage convert to lightning damage then you want to get fervor definitely to cap your crit chance and the rest of the mods if you get more energy shield then imperial might gets more value so that would be way or you can get more damage here and the dreamcraft on the gloves you want to get dreamcraft on the gloves which gives you physical damage on the implicit um, for boots, <coughs> deflection stacks and movement speed, aura effect. My boots are not perfect, a lot of room for improvement, but that will come later. <coughs> On rings, physical damage, like flat physical damage and resistances basically. Energy shield, if you can get it in there, get it in there. And Dreamcraft on rings would be plus percent 
damage <coughs> on one of them and the last dreamcraft you can you can have three dreamcrafted and items on you for, so the last dreamcraft i'm putting on belt you can only dreamcraft the rare items so if i if, when i'm not using light hunter belt i'm using this with dreamcrafted skill radius but if you're going to light hunter belt you can dreamcraft your second drink as well and get another 84% uh, damage basically and on the other ring again physical damage and resistances definitely get the rubber resistance mod and if you can get erosion resistance on your rings definitely get that I'm not kept right, right now if I swap to the belt <coughs> and I enchant erosion resistance on my helmet instead of the lightning grass I'm fully capped that way so yeah so yeah those are the items um for hero traits um like this the top ones which provides you with around 460 percent additional or 540 percent additional damage so yeah top ones and uh, additional damage upon using empower skill that's the reason why i'm using um the speed phantom here which is an empower skill you can see here so that's 12 percent additional damage and i have crit rating you can get additional damage when detonating bombs near elites that is great as well that's that goes I believe up to 18% additional damage so yeah that would be the other option that I will be trying later on and what you want to make sure is that you have the threat engram slot open on the hero relic why the third one that would be because of we are going to use detonation there which basically lets you save one talent point because it throws it pretty much always throws free bombs when you when you are throwing bombs which let which, which lets you uh summon all three of your nrs nrs per cast if you don't want to use this you would rather use like a third blast gun with additional damage the only thing that you would need to take is in machinist you would need to take legendary medium talent this one or get this one on your <coughs> corner of divinity so yeah then sentries that can be deployed at a time plus one that's what you would have to take and on the blast gums projectile quantity minus one and additional damage mines are not perfect but yeah so still a room for improvement and the second plot would be movement speed for me because i want to go faster but you can get even more additional damage here you can get <coughs> this mod on the blast gums as well basically so when you want go to go purely bossing or you want to go for part of the brave you can definitely like get rid of the movement speed and get and get more additional damage yeah um, I believe that I've covered everything so that's it for this video in the next one I will be level 100 and I will be going full damage this is full defense so thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next uh, next update bye